I'd say mine is probably linear algebra and pure maths. Yeah. Because um, we've not really done anything like that before, so it's nice and different. Yeah, that was great. My answer. Is that the same? <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I like um, linear algebra probably the most because it's it's taught at the pay it's taught at the slowest pace because nobody's like mm. um, done it before. Yeah. Nobody's seen anything like that before. Whereas oh, your yeah. calculus and vectors that was and calculus and applications that was very that, similar yeah. to A level. So. Although I've seen it before, I just liked learning about something like quite different. Um, well, I didn't have coursework at college no, at didn't. all. Um, so, but we, we've only had one, two, like coursework in two of the modules, haven't they? And they've been both been programming courseworks. Yeah. Um, um, and I'd not done any programming at all. Um, some of my friends on the course had done um, Python. Yeah. So yeah, and yeah. just like the general themes like do it like when you have to do four loops or while loops i didn't know anything about that um, but like some of my friends did but i really enjoyed learning how to use matlab most really okay. um i liked latex but i was the other way around really? i loved latex yeah. yeah and matlab i found quite challenging yeah so for me for it was really next. weird having like a maths lecture because at A level, because we had quite a small class, because I was doing further maths, um, it was quite involved. So we'd learn content and then we'd do exercises. Yeah, yeah. But we can have like two hours of just solid content, and I, I thought that was like really strange to start with. Yeah, yeah, and like at college, you think the rate is really fast at, at which they teach, but then you get here and it's even faster. Yeah, definitely. But I don't feel like that's something to worry about because, like we were saying before, our um, Linear algebra is the slowest rate course and it's because, well, you haven't learned anything. Mm. But half the hall of learn, like in calculus and vectors, that's like the A-level core one, two, three and yeah. four. They're similar, so they go through that faster because most people yeah. have done it before. It's manageable to keep up with. Um, and yeah, um, you, you did further maths, didn't you? So yeah. did I. But. I don't feel like that really mattered so much. I feel like the further maths is less important because if I could keep up with content um, that I hadn't done before, then so would anyone really, wouldn't they? I think also because everyone's done different exam boards yeah. and they've chosen different modules. So you might have done further maths, but you might not have covered that topic. I think everyone kind of reaches a point where um, you're starting to learn content you've never covered before. It's just people that have done further maths reach that point a bit earlier. Yeah. But I wouldn't say that's a disadvantage. No. I'm interested in expanding on finance, um, but also keeping my options open a bit. So I'm probably going to do a bit of statistics, um, more pure modules, because they're my yeah. favourite at the moment. Yeah. So having a look at the second year modules that we have choice from, um, I'd like to do um, the financial maths module and also um, I'm thinking about doing the Python module because I really liked learning MATLAB, I liked yeah. learning LaTeX, we're currently learning to use R, yeah. um, it's just something that I've really enjoyed so I've, I know Python's like like used everywhere so I think that will be quite useful in any career path that I take. Mm. So. Yeah. I'd say for me I quite like that in the, in the Alan Turing building um, there's two study rooms, there's a quiet one, so absolutely silent if that's what you're interested in. And then there's um, a more sociable one that you use. Yeah. And I also quite like the Alan Gilbert Learning Commons because it's nice how there's sofas and there's like a little cafe you can go to yeah. when you're having a little revision break. So my accommodation um, is not actually one that I applied for, mm -hmm. but I ended up getting this one and I'm really happy with it because it's right on campus so I can get any anywhere on the university in 10 minutes. I haven't joined any societies but um, I am part of my halls JCR slash RA which stands for Junior Common Room um, and we organise events for our hall, we get given a budget, every hall has one, um, we get given a budget and we hold events for our halls um, so that's been pretty much where my time's been taken up with um, outside of maths um, and I've just really enjoyed that because it's been events planning I'm the treasurer so I have to like but manage the budget and how much we can spend per event um, and we get quite a substantial budget so it's not like like we get like 150 pounds like 300 pounds we get like thousands of pounds um, and that's been really fun it's nothing like I've ever done before um, 
we've just had our summer balls. Mm. Mine's coming up. Scout's just had hers. Yeah. Um, and that's been really complicated but interesting to yeah. plan. Because I know you're in your, do you call it an yeah. RA? Like, ours is an RA, yeah. yeah, Residents Association. I'm also the treasurer. Um, yeah, and we've just had our spring ball. And I'd say sometimes it can be quite stressful planning it, like things yeah, going wrong last minute. Same. <laughs> um, but it's really nice when it, when it works and it pays off and yeah. everyone's had a good time. Yeah. yeah. I went to a CV workshop recently, so um, that could be for anything, such as getting like a summer job or an internship. Um, for me, I'll probably use it just for a summer job to earn a bit of money before uni. And I haven't actually thought about um, what I want to do in the future yet, but I'd say there's still plenty of time. I went to the CV workshop as well, mm. um, and it was it was so good. Like I learned yeah. so much. Like I had, I thought my CV was very good because my college were really like on it about um, applying for uni, mm. applying for inter uh, apprenticeships and mm. stuff like that. So I already had a complete CV, but I learned stuff about what I thought was good about my CV. I should be changing stuff that I should be condensing. They also gave so many careers links it was mm. unbelievable so at the moment i got interested in being an actuary lecturers here are so like willing to help um mm. in that um careers workshop it was run by an actuarial science lecturer mm. um and i got chatting to him about like my plans for the future and like what i'm wanting to apply for and he was saying if i ever get an interview he'll if i just drop him an email he'll help me through um like planning for it and stuff mm. like that so um yeah and he also emailed me with um i was asking about careers uh, not careers option modules for next year in year two and he gave me um, suggestions of things that may assist me in like later uh, content that's relevant to being an actuary and stuff because um, we can't actually take actuarial science modules because that was something I asked um, you have to do actuarial science um, but he gave me alternatives I can do on my course that are similar.